Roxanne Strickland. Good morning. Good morning. How are you? Sorry, a little nervous. <laughs> you're nervous? I can't imagine why you're nervous. You only have nine violations, speeding and red lights. So half of them are actually from my son's father. Oh. Um, the ones in the middle of the night, and then the rest, yeah, they're me. <laughs> you have these red light violations. I mean, tell me about it. Like, you come in, you see me. I'm I, I know still you're... new at driving. Um, I just started in March. So, like, when I go through the light, I'm like, oh, it just turned red. I can go through it. And then my son's dad, and he's like, no, you can't. I've just been going through a lot. Where um, did you learn that, that when the light turns red, you can go through it? I mean, that little, makes no sense at all. A little brain in my head. Well, <laughs> you're going to end up without a license if you continue doing that. Yeah, I know. I've just been going through a lot. Um, I almost lost my seven-year-old son five month, almost five months ago. You lost your seven-year-old son? I almost did. Oh. Um, so I've been going through a lot. My apartment was just condemned a month ago, so I'm actually homeless. Right now with my son, two weeks I'm in a hotel, two weeks I'm at my mom's, because she can only have people there for two weeks. So I've been going through a lot. My son was hit by a car, you'd think I would learn, critically, um, in June. How old is your son? Um, he was seven at the time, he's eight now. How many children do you have? Just him. My gift from God, he is. <laughs> so it's been a lot, um, not even doing Christmas this year with him, because I don't have it. I'm trying to get a apartment, I'm trying to, you know, I got my car insurance, I have, you know, everything else. So it's been a lot going on. And I'm still working. Go to work every day. Um, I go to work like nothing happened, like nothing's going on with me. And I just enjoy being with the kids in my class. So, so you it's have, been a lot. Right, so you have a, a seven-year-old son. He was seven at the time. He's eight now. He's eight. And yeah, we were um, on Branch Avenue um, in June, and we were getting ready to cross, and a guy stopped to let us cross. We were right in front of him. And I was holding my son's hand. The guy was down texting. It wasn't paying attention. Every time I talk about my son, I cry. It wasn't paying attention, so he stepped on the gas. When he did, the car hit the back of me, pushed me, and all I felt was my son's hand come out. My son went up in the air and came down on his head. Um, the guy, my son's father and another guy stopped him two houses down. He was going to leave. How long ago was that? June. Is your son still getting medical treatment? Yes, he goes to a head um, concussion specialist. Right now, you are homeless. I am, sir, yes. And your seven, seven-year-old son is homeless as well. He's eight now, yes. My apartment, um, I was living across the street from where Spike's Pizza is, and they, um, a month and a half ago, I got a phone call that they condemned my house, and I had an hour to go get whatever I can get out, clothes-wise and stuff, for me and my son and his dad, and leave. They put us in a hotel, but then after that, we had to start doing it ourselves. I understand your circumstances, mm -hmm. and I am sympathetic with them, and I really wish you well. Thank you. But I'm looking at your record here, and yep. you're charged with speeding violations and not excessive speed, like four miles over the limit, eight miles over the limit, three miles over the limit, mm -hmm. right? And I'm looking at those and red light violations. Without knowing who you were or what your circumstances were, when I first looked at this, I said, this is gonna be a bad case. But, and I understand your situation. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to give you a break on it, okay? But you have to do something for yourself. You just can't totally disregard red lights and speeding tickets, speeding yep. zones. Do you understand that? No, I understand. I know, I know you do. And I've, I've actually figured out, like, to slow down now, you know. After my son, I was like, i got to slow down, you know. I seen a kid almost get hit the other day from someone speeding, so I was like, i got to slow down. So I've been... Driving better. I'm going to take into consideration all of the factors that you presented to the court today. Mm -hmm. I'm going to impose a fine of $350. Okay. I'm going to structure it so that you do not have to pay it. Because we have some generous people throughout the world who have an opportunity to view these court proceedings and who have sent in funds asking that the court utilize its discretion to help people that are in need. And I call those funds the Philomena Fund, named after my mom. So we're gonna use the funds from the Philomena Fund, all $350 to pay Thank you. for these violations so you will not have to pay for them and that you can more properly care for your child and for yourself. That's my baby. 
your slate is going to be wiped clean, so this is Thank not you. going to be a burden on you. And I wish you well. I wish Thank things you. work out for you. I hope things work out for your son. Thank you. Okay, so Roxanne, it's going to be $350 paid for from the Philomena Thank Fund. You. My mother's happy today. She's looking down at me saying, Frankie, you did something good. So good luck to you. <laughs> I know my mom's going to be happy when I call and tell her you're the judge. We watch you every day at like 3 in the morning <laughs> when we can't sleep. So All thank right. you. Good luck. Thank you, sir. That's at the end, Your Honor.